what's the difference between tax inclusive and tax exclusive in Xero? Earlier today, I had to explain this to a client and I realized that sometimes there's something that you think is very straightforward, but actually it's not easy for other people to understand. And I think that's possibly the case with what Zero have done here. They've tried to make something really user friendly and it is, but you need to understand. So the first thing I would say, when you've got a field in Zero and it says tax, the chances are it's referring to VAT. Because Zero's global, I'm thinking that's probably why they use the word tax so they don't have to say VAT in the UK and gross sales tax something like that in another country. So there's two options when you input information in Xero. You can choose tax exclusive or tax inclusive. Now what I'm going to do to try and explain it is let's look at a real life example. It's December, it's almost the end of the year. So let's pretend that I have just gone out to Tesco and I have bought myself a new diary for next year. I've paid for that diary and that diary has cost me £12. So the cost of that diary is actually £10 plus £2 VAT. I've got a receipt from Tesco and I'm going to input that. I've paid it personally, so I will input it through the expenses module. So when I go to input it in expenses, I get asked, is this tax inclusive or tax exclusive. Now it depends how you input that information. So if we look at the receipt from Tesco, and I use Tesco because Tesco will give you what I call a scrappy receipt, not an invoice. And you will see that the amount paid for it is £12. You'll have to do a bit of fishing around to find the VAT, whereas the full amount is very easy to see. So what Zero have done is they said, right, okay, if you've got that receipt, and you want to input it as £12, that's fine, and Zero will calculate the VAT. All you have to do is tick the box in Zero that says this amount is tax inclusive. So then you just input your expense, code it to stationery, whatever, and say that it was £12 inclusive of VAT, and Zero will automatically work out, and I've chosen a number that's not hard, that there's £2 of VAT on that transaction. If you tick the box that said VAT exclusive, you would then input the amount as £10, i.e. the value, what it's cost you, excluding the VAT amount. And then Zero would then add on the £2 for you. So why are there these two different options? Well, I've never checked with Xero, but in my mind, it's simply that when you have your receipt from Tesco, it allows you to input it as £12. Now, let's say that we hadn't bought that diary from Tesco, we'd gone to our stationery supplier, and our stationery supplier sent us a proper, official looking purchase invoice for this um, diary. So, this invoice because it's from a supplier and the supplier's VAT registered and he's sending it to us as a business, the chances are that this invoice, it will be very clear on it what the VAT amount is. The invoice will probably show the amount as £10 and then it might be further down even at the bottom of the invoice, you'll see the VAT added on. So the number that's easy to spot in this document is probably the £10, not the 12 so if you're inputting the 10, you tick the box that says it's tax exclusive. And that's the same if you input it through as a purchase invoice or if we refer to the Tesco receipt and you paid it personally, you input it as an expense. You still have that same option. So if you have a document, there is VAT on it, but it's maybe not that clear. Zero have just made life easy for you that there's this, this option that's VAT or tax inclusive and that's what it's all about. So tax means VAT, exclusive, just to recap, means that you would input £10 and zero would add on the £2 VAT giving you the total of 12. Tax inclusive, you would input the transaction as the full amount, the £12, 
and again zero would do the calculation but this time it would be the 12 pound includes two pound of VAT. So it's the same result at the end of it, it's just how you input that transaction, it's making it easier for you but only easier when you understand what it's all about and I hope that has made it clear for you. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.